What's up, badass Black Desert Mobile fans? Our favorite day of the week is here, Patch Day. And this week, Black Desert Mobile brought us a bunch of new goodies, including the Fletcher and Archer creation. Now, before I get into the goodies, I want to give you guys some information, and this is a Discord server that is available to you. This Discord does notify you when Layton and the Black Rock Shrine are available on your server. This Discord does cover all the servers and all the regions as far as I'm aware. This Discord will be linked in the description as well as the comments down below. Make sure you join them. I have been a part of them for quite a while and it does tell me for all of when they, all of the Black Rock Shrines and the Latents do come up for my server. So I do recommend you checking them out. And with that being said, let's dive right in. This week's patch, we did get the Archer and Fletcher pre-creation. The Archers, the Forgotten Son of the Goddess, Sylvia and Protector of the World is coming to Black Desert Mobile. The Archer's a nimble class that uses a crossbow, retrofitted to fit to attach to his arm, and unique gauntlet Raghan, which allows him to draw from the power of light. With his agility and mastery over archery techniques, the Archer reigns over the battlefield. He is also able to concentrate his power into one devastating blow. Archer can awaken to become the Fletcher, the last guardian of Camasilv, the Fletcher does not use arrows, but a unique spear-like projectile named the Divine Piercer. No one can withstand his critical blows. The Fletcher uses a long range great bow to track enemies from afar, so some refer to him as the Overseer of Battle. You can begin customizing your Archer and Fletcher during the pre-registration period. Now, for those that thought the Shy was coming before the Archer and Fletcher, you are correct. The Archer and Fletcher was actually projected for March, and the Shy we were supposed to get this month. They essentially flopped them, and the reason that they're telling us that they flopped them was because the Shy, they wanted to retweak the build for when they release her to make sure that she's the best, you know, class that we get, while as the Archer and Fletcher they feel is pretty pretty solid as is. The Archer and Fletcher is going to come to us a top tier class, SS, competing for the Archmage. The Shy, probably not so much. It still needs some little tweaks there. So that is the reason they're telling us they swapped them out there. So you can expect to see the Archer and Fletcher before the Shy. And the Shy is supposed to be in the March time frame now. Hadoom Calpheon City has been added. A journey in search of great power led to the discovery of a new realm in the depths of darkness. What a strange place. Different, yet familiar. It was Calpheon City, but within Hadoom's realm. Adventurers beware, in Hadoom, Calpheon City, the fanatics who worship the dark will target those who carry the power of light. Hadoom, Calpheon City has been founded in the depths of darkness. It can be accessed after the story Hadoom Growing Uproar is completed. Hadoom Growing Uproar is only available after the story Hadoom Realm is completed. The suggested CP for Hadoom, Calpheon City is 7,000. They updated the Hadoom item drop rate and drop update. So added some items there. Not, a, not drop rate, just update. The following items can be obtained when defeating monsters throughout Hadoom. Blazing Chaos Crystal, which is a 100% chance to increase your Rift Stone. So instead of, you know, you're just using regular Chaos Crystals, which give like 0.3% chance and it takes like 300. Now you have the chance to get the Blazing Chaos Crystal, which is 100% chance to level up. That might, you know, get adjusted after you get certain to a certain level of that. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know as far as my level, it is 100%. They also gave Inscribed Glyphs, which is nice. And that's just through all of Hadoom, not just Valencia Hadoom. And then Rift Totems, which were only previously available in Elyon. Now we have the chance of getting them in Hadoom. Pet Sension has been added. So Pet Ascension. Pet Sension is only applicable to Tier 6 pets. Pet Send your pet skills by going to Pets slash Exchange and select two Tier 6 pets. Successful Pet Sension will increase your pet's maximum skill level to 20. Guild Updates. They updated some new guild goodies. Increase some guild skill level caps to 20, the AP, the DP, life skill experience, fishing experience, call to battle, attack and defense, cannon knowledge, elephant training, and ogre skills. They also increased the guild siege item level cap to 13. Now this says siege, not node war, just siege. We'll have to see here if it actually affects nodes too, but it only says siege there. You can fortify and increase the HP of Holy Artifact, Guard Tower, Defense Tower, and Barricade. Fortified Guild items level 10 or higher using new resources, Powder of Life, 
dark crystal ore, and strong timber. Holy Artifact takes the Powder of Life. The Guard Tower takes the Guard Dark Crystal Ore. And the Defense Tower slash Barricade take the Strong Timber. Increased HP for the following Guild Objectives. The Cannon, the Elephant, the Ogre, Siege Holy Artifact, Siege Barricade, Fire Shot Supply Unit, Defense Tower, Hawacha, Buff Tower, Outer Gate, Inner Gate, West and South and East Towers. They also increase the Cannon, Elephant, Ogre and Hawacha damage. So this looks mostly to be a siege update. It doesn't look like some of this is going to take effect as far as regular node wars, although we will have to check that out. Sometimes their wording isn't the best. Uh, it just says guild updates. It doesn't say siege updates. So I'm sure some of these, you know, as far as the, the, the stats of top level 20, the guild skills, those are obviously affect everything. So we will have to check that out. As far as those new resources, uh, you can find them in foraging, mining, and logging now. They added new resources that can be collected through forage, mining, and logging. The new resources are available through the world of the world or field gathering upon reaching master level in each respective life skill. So you have to be master. Foraging, you need powder, you get powder of life. Mining, a dark crystal ore, and logging, strong timber. The new resources can be used to reinforce level 10 or higher structures in Siege War and Node War. Now, this is slightly upsetting, not, you know, severely, but if you're a new player, it's not easy to get to master level for your life skills. And they're making you get to master level to be able to get these resources. And now those resources currently can only be used for your Guild Wars and Node Wars, but, I mean, if you're a newer player, you keep, you're coming in the game and it takes months if not a year to get to master level in all of them so they obviously are going to need to give us some uh you know increase the experience we get on those bad boys while you know doing your foraging mining and logging as well as give us some of the elixirs a new item dark matter stone a stone that can draw out the full might of the black spirit rage when used it grants a more potent use of your black spirit skill it can be obtained from regions of Elyon, and it will show up on your bar on the right next to your Black Spirit skills, so you can use that before you use the skill. Family-based story quest progression. Family-based story quest progression has been added and can be accomplished on per family basis. Families who have already completed the story will maintain the story quest completed status. If there are any active quests or accepted quests in a complete state, they will be canceled. You can find cancel quests through the story menu and accept the quests again there. Improve the story quest rewards. Families who have already completed the story quest will receive the updated rewards in their mailbox. So be sure to check your mailbox because there's a lot of goodies in there. I know I received a lot myself today and this is why. Because they gave you the updated rewards from the completed story quest that you had already had completed. Some class updates, they did buff the Lancer here, and some minor tweaks to the to the Nova, nothing in Paramount, just uh, some issues they had while inside the camp. As far as the Lancer, I'm just gonna run through those real quick. The Lancer, they increased the collision speed while running. The Righteous Torment skill fixed an issue, causing the last hit to go into effect immediately upon skill use during auto hunt. Increased the frequency of flow sacred light during auto hunt. Made improvements to allow quicker use of holy thrust, divine guard, and rejection after using skill using flow sacred light. For radiant burst, improved the skill effects and changed stun on successful hit to stun on first hit and daze on last hit. Improved movement distance upon skill use. Improved the skill to make the transition into running after skill use more natural. Other skills can now be used more quickly after using Radiant Burst. Increase the frequency of Radiant Burst during Auto Hunt. Fallen Angel, improved to allow instant teleportation when holding the button down. Increase the teleport speed during the jump. And improved to allow faster use of Divine Judgment after using Fallen Angel. Retribution, increased, increased the attack range of last hit to include self. Holy Thrust increased the attack range to include self. Improved to allow consecutive attacks when holding the skill button down. And charged the knockdown on last hit effect changed the knockdown on last hit effect to knockdown on hit. And rejection increased the attack speed. 
for Nova. They fixed an issue where the Nova could draw her weapon inside the camp. And they also fixed an issue leading to the Nova using her skills inside of the camp. As far as notice, after the maintenance scheduled for the second week of March, the Combat Pluses will increase the Boss Rush modifier from 5 to 10. So instead of it giving you 5 more Boss Rushes per attempt, it gives you 10. That's very nice. If you have Combat Plus active during the above mentioned update, it will be increased and applied automatically. For some improvements, the arena improved the CP and HP corrections in Ramonas Arena, lowered the maximum AP cap in the Ramonas Arena, items added where to obtain information to the Cronstone item description, made minor improvements to basic item descriptions, UI improved the Great Desert World Map to prevent the Great Temple icon from being tapped, improved multipliers for re-entering world boss fights, the multiplier now matches the maximum number of additional entries available to you, up to 50. Remade the story UI, which we already saw. When new stories become available, notification will appear on the right side of the mini-map. Bugs and other fixes. Fix an issue that removed the set destination upon receiving the Blackrock Altar offering rewards. Items. They fix an issue preventing sales of expired items when pressing sell junk. Fix an issue where black crystals available for force enhancement did not show in the force enhancement screen. The UI, they fixed a display issue where the scores of guilds ranking fourth and lower in the black sun, sun mode did not show properly. And for the camp, they fixed an issue causing a different item to show in the sale window when selling camp decorations. We got some new events, the Archer and Fletcher pre-creation event, Archer and Fletcher art puzzle event, and CM Rocco's February festival, festival, which actually starts tomorrow, February 10th, and goes until February 15th. So that's a five-day event. You can see that Rocco, Rocchio's event starting tomorrow. There are some updates to the Pearl Shop. We got Archer and Fletcher Prep Chest 1 and 2, Best Seller Pack 1, 2, 3, and 4, Dark Matter Stone times 100, which you can buy. The Handbok Armor Outfit has been added. Black Gat Winds of Dawn. Red Gat, Song of Crimson Winds, Camellia Wreath, Cozy Snowflower Hat, and the Fragrant Blossom. Let's over, head over to the game and check them out. All right, we're over here in the game. We're just going to run through the events real quick as well as some of the updates. The new events we got is the Archer and Fletcher pre-registration -pre event. You do get some enhanced Alchemy Stone Chest, Max Stat Relic Selection Chest times 2, Orange, and in Leader Blessing times 1, 3 hours, so you can save that if you plan on rocking the Archer or Fletcher. Archer and Fletcher Art Puzzle Event, I strongly advise you doing these for those that don't like doing the Art Puzzle Event. I do know there's some websites out there that help uh, you know complete these for you if you have some problems. Daily, you're going to get Caffer Dust 1500, Residue and Essence times 2000. That does go for 14 days. And once you complete it eight times, you do get 50 of the Fragment Passes, which is why it's very important, because that's a lot of uh, World Boss Fragments. Crimson Crown times one, and the Accessory Selection Chest times five. So strongly advise you going through and doing that one at least eight times. You just got to collect the puzzle piece. You can complete it real quick. It's not too hard, in my opinion. They did also update that story mode, like I said. Or like they said, it looks very nice now. You can see over on the left how many you have completed in each section. They did add the Hadoom growing uproar here. So you can go through there, accept that, and then uh, you know knock those out to get those extra rewards down there, which are very nice. Last thing I want to check out here is the uh, Pearl Shop. So the Pearl Shop this week they gave us new was the Archer and Fletcher Prep Chest times 1 and 2. This Prep Chest is going to give us... So if you buy it, obtain the following items from Archer and Fletcher Prep Chest 1 and 2. The Chest 1 is going to give you Tier 4 to 5 Mischievous Dog Chest times 10. So you're going to get 10 pet chests or 10 Tier 4 pets with a chance of getting a Tier 5. And Magical Essence, 150,000. Chest 2 is going to give you Root of Darkness Chest times 40. And Badge of Glory times 300. That is $20. That's what you get. Not really worth it in my opinion, but it is what it is. They do also have the one year anniversary mercenary chest times two, fragments challenge chest times one, one year anniversary dark knight chest times one, and bonus package upon purchasing. Doesn't really say, I'm curious as to what that dark knight chest is offering. Uh, you know, they're not really telling a whole lot here. It's kind of 
interesting, but it is what it is. Uh, bestseller pack times three and then four. I'm not sure if they skip two. This is a one times one, so it looks like if you buy one, you get two maybe. So for the second one, all in one enhancement pack times one, one year anniversary discount chest times one, and pearls and relic enhancement two times one. And that's 50. Again, doesn't really tell you what they are, is coming inside of them anywhere. And then for the $100, you're getting one year anniversary count chest times one, all in one pet collector's pack times one, pearls and enhancement two times one. So they're kind of elusive as to what you are getting. Lunar New Year Shop. Oh, that's what that is, the Lunar New Year Shop. So all of those are in there. Uh, doesn't really, like I said, tell us a whole lot. So all-inclusive packages is that Archer and Fletcher pet prep chest. Pearl items, new Dark Matter Stone times 100 for 500 black pearls. Again, you can use those to increase the Black Spirit skill damage. So those could be useful for Guild Wars, Siege Wars, um, open PvP, you know, Black Sun, anything like that. And maybe appearance. What else did they get? Ornaments. Oh, outfit. We got a new outfit. Did we get a new outfit? They're saying we got a new outfit, but I don't think we got a new outfit. Handbox? They didn't say we got a new outfit. But that one does look newer. At least for my class. The handbox. And ornaments. What is that? The Fragrant Blossom. That looks pretty retarded, if you're asking me. <laughs> All right, so we got the Fragment fragrant, fragrant Blossom as well. Yeah. Oh, the Cozy Wool Hat. That looks new. Cozy... Oh, yeah, here we go. So the Wool Hat is not new. Maybe I just missed that. Cozy Snowflower Hat. Oh, man, these just look crazy. Camellia Wreath. That one's not too bad. That one's not too bad. And that's it. Oh no. Black Gat Winds of Dawn. <laughs> that one's not terrible. Kind of looks silly on him. And the Red Gat Song of Red Winds. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. <laughs> so that's the new ornaments. New goodies there. That is all for the update it looks like. Make sure, again, you guys check out that Latent and Shrine Discord, so that way you're up to date when those come out for your server and region. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button on your way out. And with that being said, I will see you next time.